In the world of international payments, SWIFT messages play a vital role in transferring funds securely and efficiently. Among the various SWIFT message types, Montana 101 SWIFT message is one of the most commonly used in corporate banking. But what exactly does MT101 mean, and how is it different from the well-known MT103? What is an MT101 SWIFT message? An MT101 SWIFT message is a request for the transfer of funds from one bank to another. It is primarily used by corporate customers to instruct their bank to initiate multiple payments. This type of message allows a company to consolidate payment instructions into one standardized format, making bulk payments more efficient. In simpler terms, if a business needs to pay multiple vendors or settle different obligations in a single go, it can use the MT101 to send multiple payment instructions at once. So, the format of the MT101 is, you know, really structured and follows a defined layout set by SWIFT standards. It includes fields such as the ordering party, beneficiary details, amount, execution date, and payment method. The message actually can contain multiple payment instructions within a single transmission, and each instruction is clearly separated for processing. This standardization ensures that banks can easily understand and execute payment requests globally. Let's talk about the difference between MT101 and MT103. While both messages are related to payment instructions, the key difference lies in their purpose and usage. MT101 is a payment initiation message. It does not confirm that the payment has been executed, but simply instructs the bank to make payments. MT103, on the other hand, is a payment confirmation. It is used to confirm that a specific payment has been completed successfully. So if MT101 is like giving a to-do list to the bank, MT103 is the confirmation that the task is done.